When uh, Jesus was asked, when he was approached by a couple of different people, he was asked, you know, what's the most important commandment? And he, and he said to them, quite simply, that to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And then the second is like it. In other words, the second is totally connected to it. It, it, it resembles the first, and that was love your neighbor as yourself. Every day, as you go, loving people like Jesus did. And, uh, and, and that, that's what I want to see believers grab a hold of in the church, grab a hold of. Is they're not always going to come to you. Sometimes you're going to have to go out. Everywhere I go, selfishness is the number one issue. Um, our own selfish desires, greed, our own... Um, it almost seems like we have our own hidden agenda, hidden agenda when really we should be doing God's agenda. Let's share the love of Christ, let's share the grace of Christ, and let's just let the power and the spirit of Christ compel you to get out there and make a difference in this world. People are so quick to judge, and um, they just like to see someone that is dressed different or might hang out with a different group of people. Things like them, even them themselves, the people who are judging, um, have sinned and messed up too, so it's like... I don't know. I just think judging is like, like hindering the unity that can be built in the community. So I would like to see that change. And you're going to have to use your gifts and your talents and, and the things that you're passionate about to not just know Jesus and soak him in on Sunday, but to pour him into, into other people. And that might not happen by, you know, being a preacher. Sometimes it happens by, you know, washing windows and, and giving out water, uh, doing little things just because. This is Community Unity, and as a community, unified together, we can change the world one step at a time. I'm ready to change the world. The question is, are you?